Hey guys, well it's been a while since I've made a video. It's only been just over a month since my last video. I just made the made a monthly update video, so I'm gonna make another one today. So this will be the update video for the month of February. This is uh, long overdue. I've been intending to want to do one, but I just never felt like doing it. So as you can see, it is a nice, beautiful morning. Today is Valentine's Day. So I'm sure most of y'all watched the uh, Super Bowl last night. Congratulations to the LA Rams for winning. Yeah, this is what things look like right now it's gotten quite cold we ended up getting some uh, winter weather last week and I just never I just didn't feel like coming out just making a video on what things looked like I think around here we didn't quite get as much snow it ended up starting out with rain and freezing rain and then sleet and then finally snow so pretty much throughout that week, I just stayed home and wasn't able to even go to work anyways because we were closed because of the weather. And throughout last week, after all the snow had all melted, the temperatures have been getting up into the 70s. I think today is supposed to get up to 70, almost close to 75. So it won't be long. Spring will be here before you know it. Sun is quite bright along here just because it's morning. Nothing much to really look at over here, even though the grass is all dormant. And I thought I'd just point out something here. In the last few weeks, during the week, my parents have been doing some cleaning up out along here. I believe the plan is we're gonna be removing these uh, privet hedges, which pretty much now they're pretty much like small trees. This one's pretty much all done being removed. We just got to get to the larger pieces. Then we just got that last one that's just hanging right over into the neighbor's yard. And some of those big pieces, I can just cut those with the chainsaw. Here's some of the remains of it. I would like to uh, uh, shred all these with the chipper shredder, which I'll probably end up doing that real soon. And there's another little pile. We'll need to get all these leaves all cleaned out. I'll probably just end up blowing them and into the yard.
Okay, let's have a look in here. I haven't been in here in a while. Yep, here's all the lawn equipment. They're still, they are still in winter hibernation and real soon I will be waking them up. I'll be getting them out. I'll probably do that this weekend. Because this weekend is supposed to be nice. I don't think this weekend's not going to be quite as warm, but probably just warm enough to where I can get all this stuff out, get them running. And so, yeah. Whenever I do, I probably won't feature, well, start up everything. Like I usually do. Well, because there's an issue with a couple of the equipment. So, of course, the Echo SRM 2201. I can't seem to keep that thing running. And uh, this McCulloch Eager Beaver chainsaw. I'm going to have to replace the carburetor on it. Because every time, when it, or well, almost every time, but sometimes not all the time. Whenever if I push that purge bulb, I see gas squirting out through the carburetor venturi and into the engine and causing the engine to flood. And and sometimes it would take me lots and lots of pulls to get that thing started and there's times I, I eventually just give up because it just makes my arm really tired. And then well this blower this is the Echo PB400E. Of course, there's the biggest problem with it. The flex tube is <laughs> is broken. But technically, it still runs. I could try and see if I can get it to start. Because it hadn't ran since I did that last startup video, which has been... It's been a year. And there's my Echo CS400 chainsaw, which I never did use it at all last year. I only just started it during the startup video, and I just only did a little cutting on that tree stump that's still sitting out back. Huh. Those birds. I was wondering what all that noise was coming from. I almost thought if it was squirrels. And then, I think even possibly real soon, I will, I'll need to go back up to the farm just because, well, None of us hadn't been up there at all throughout this winter, except for my uncle. My uncle was just up there about two or three weeks ago. He uh, sold his tractor, which is that bigger John Deere tractor, the John Deere 5100E. So now the the barn in up there is not even all cluttered up anymore. So which that's actually good. Which that would mean, whenever that next time I can, whenever, if we do go up there, hopefully it'll be soon, whenever I get some of the stuff running, I can just pull the, the John Deere 5065E into the center of the shop or over at the back. And I could just drive the tractor out from the back rather than have to keep pushing that uh, golf cart out. Actually, we've been having issues with the uh, golf cart up there because last year, whenever I would plug in the battery charger to charge the batteries, the charger would not kick on. And I'm assuming it's just that the batteries on the golf cart are just completely dead. So we'll just have to 
call someone and have someone over there to look at it or have a local uh, golf cart dealer have them have a truck and trailer and take it. I mean, technically there is a trailer up there at the farm, but it's not roadworthy. It's not, I mean, you know what I, if you know what I mean, it's just not registered to be, to be driven, to be used on the road. that'll do it for this update video so this this weekend I will get the lawn equipments out and get them running and I will be making videos on those and so y'all stay tuned for though for that I think I'll let y'all go and I I never really do say this though if you if you guys do enjoy my videos or even this one here please uh, like it and also if y'all haven't subscribed then please subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that y'all will get a notification that I have uploaded a new video all right so I hope y'all enjoyed this video and so thanks for watching